Hi everybody, I am Dr. Astosh Kumar. I am a uh, clinical director of cardiac elective physiology working at Care Hospital High Tech City, Hyderabad. Today I am here to discuss regarding the heart failure. So heart failure is a condition we call as uh, the pumping of the heart is a bit weak. It is not able to support the, the activity for which it is supposed, which it, it is supporting earlier means there are some complaints and some finding on which we make our, our conclusion or diagnosis of heart failure. So if the patient is having breathlessness or patient is not able to do, we call it easy fatigability or patient is developing pedal edema means swelling in the feet or these are the important complaints and when we do the echo, we get some finding like ejection fraction. If it is low, it indirectly or in which is persistently low without any cause, we call as the heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. So these are the condition in which we diagnose a heart failure and we give the medicines first and if the patient is doing fine on the medicines we continue but there are some situation in which you have to go to the next level and the, what are the next level of the heart failure management that everybody should know and whenever any, any of their family member is suffering they should try to opt or at least discuss with the doctor. The second, the second line of treatment is the device therapy means the patient needs some device which is going to augment the heart pumping which we call as a cardiac resynchronization therapy and these are the very minimally invasive procedures which we do and by that the heart pumping improves and the third line of management means if the patient has been put on the device uh, 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 we call a CRT and if he's not doing well or the uh, what he is getting benefit over the time the benefit is reducing he's getting recurrent admissions then he needs the third line of treatment which you call a cardiac transplant. So there is a particular age group and the uh, what you call protocol, we, uh, we examine the patient and when we get that those uh, findings, we suggest that they should enroll for the uh, heart transplant protocol uh, in the hospital and they will be called for the investigation and finally when the, when the time will come, they will be admitted and the cardiac transplant happen. And after that, their life becomes more uh, easy for them and for the family. Initial uh, one month, maybe one or two months, maybe uh, uh, what you call follow up time will be shorter. But after that, it is as usual with the normal heart disease patients. So of the this treatment, medical management, device therapy, and finally, if patient is not doing fine and he is bit young, he should opt the option for going for heart transplant. And that will certainly change the life and the morbidity of the patients over the time. With this information, I am signing off. I am Dr. Astosh Kumar from Care Hospital Hyderabad.